In today's video, I am going to explain what is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation or inhomogeneous recurrence relation. See here, any equation which is of the form a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus and so on c k a n minus k plus g of k. So here, R H S in R H S any element exists, then we say that it is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. If R H S is equal to zero, then we say that it is a homogeneous recurrence relation. So for finding the general solution, A n is equal to A n at H and A n at P. So what is A n at H? It is nothing but the homogeneous solution, and A n at P is nothing but the particular solution. So here, this is a problem. So we have to solve the recurrence relation A k minus 7 times of a k minus 1 plus 10 times of a k minus 2 is equal to 6 plus 8 k. So, the R H S side we have certain numeral. So, it is non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So, here the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation is given non-homogeneous recurrence relation is is nothing but so, this is a k minus 7 a k minus 1 plus 10 times of a k minus 2 is equal to 6 plus 8 k. Now, we need the homogeneous recurrence relation. So, now the homogeneous recurrence relation is, now the homogeneous recurrence relation is, so this will be a k minus 7 times of a k minus 1 plus 10 times of a k minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we have to write the characteristic equation. Now the characteristic equation is, see here the characteristic equation is nothing but, so this will be, so this is of order 2, so this will be r square minus 7 r plus 10 is equal to 0. So for finding the factors for 10. So, this will be r square minus 2r minus 7r plus 10 is equal to 0. So, if I take r common, this will be r minus 2. If I take 5 common, this will be again r minus 2 is equal to 0. So, if I take r common, r minus 2 common, so this will be r minus 2 into r minus 5 is equal to 0. So, we got the roots as 2 comma 5. So, these are the two roots and now our homogeneous solution can be written as a n at h is equal to. So, these are real values and different different values. So, we can write as c1 this is 2 power k and again c2 this is 5 power k. So, this is nothing but the homogeneous solution. So, this is 2 power k and now we need the particular solution. So, this is the homogeneous solution and we are going to search for the particular solution. So, what is the question here? So, this is. So, for the particular solution, see here, for the particular solution, our assumption will be, so as these are constants, so we can write as the particular solution, our assumption as, this is D0 plus D1 into K. So, now we have to substitute in this equation. So, if I substitute D0 plus D1K, so as the question here is AK minus 7 times of AK minus 1 plus 10 times of AK minus 2 is equal to 6 plus 8K. Now, if I substitute the same thing here, so AK value is equal to this is D0 plus D1K. This is a 7 times of, in place of k, we have to write k minus 1. So, this is d0 plus d1 times of, this is k minus 1. And next, 10 times of, in place of k, I have to write k minus 2. That is d0 plus d1 times of, this is k minus 2. Is equal to, this is a 6 plus 8k. Now, we need to multiply all those. So, I am multiplying all the d naughts here. See here, if you observe, this is d naught, this is d naught, this is d naught. I am writing d naught at one place. So, this will be d naught. Here, it will be minus 7 d naught and here it is 10 d naught. So, 10 d naught. Now, if you observe, if I take d1 common, so if I take d1 common, see here, this is k times 
into d1 and here it is d1 this is minus 7 times of k minus 1 and here there is d1 here so this will be 10 times of k minus 2 got it which is equal to 6 plus 8k now if you see this is 11 minus 7 so this is 4 d0 plus d1 times of if i multiply this one k minus 7k plus 7 plus 10k minus this is 20 is equal to 6 plus 8k and see this will be 4 d0 plus d1 times of see here 10 minus 7 so this so this is 11 11 minus 7 so this is 4k and here if you observe that is a 7 minus 20 so this is minus 13 minus 13 is equal to 6 plus this is 8k see here and now if i multiply this is 4 d naught plus this is 4k d1 minus 13 d1 is equal to 6 plus 8k 6 plus 8k so if i bring these two together that is 4 d naught plus 13 d1 plus 4k d1 is equal to this is a 6 plus 8k so if i compare so the k quotients here this is k quotient and if you observe so this is a constant and this is a constant so if i compare both sides then this will be 4 d naught minus 13 d1 is equal to 6 and here this will be 4 d1 is equal to 8 so if i equate the quotients of k this is 4 d1 is equal to 8 and d1 is equal to 8 by 4 and d1 value is equal to 2 if i substitute d1 is equal to d1 as uh, 2 here so this is 2 is equal to 6 this is 4 d naught minus 26 is equal to 6 and 4 d naught is equal to this is 6 plus 26 and uh, 4 d naught value is equal to so this is nothing but 32 and d naught is equal to this is 32 by 4 and we got d naught value as 8 so i got the value of d naught as 8 and d1 as 2 and see here our particular solution our assumption is nothing but see here this is d0 plus d1k so this is d0 plus this is d1k as this is the particular solution what is the value of d0 this is h and what is the value of uh, d1 this is 2k as we got the particular solution so this is nothing but the particular solution now the general solution is equal to see here the general solution so we have the general solution as a n is equal to a n at h plus a n at p so what is our a n at h so a n at h is nothing but the homogeneous solution so what is our homogeneous solution c1 see here this is the c1 this is 2 power k and this is a c2 this is 5 power k and this is nothing but 8 plus this value is 2k now this is the general solution and after getting the general solution we have certain initial values so what are those initial values so the initial values given are see here i am writing the general solution as a n is equal to see here a n value is equal to c 1 into 2 power k c 2 into this is 5 power k this is 8 plus 2 k now we have certain initial value initial conditions she will show you what are the those initial conditions initial conditions are a naught is equal to 1 and a 1 is equal to 2 now we have a naught is equal to 1 a naught is equal to 1 and a 1 is equal to 2 so if i put n is equal to 0 then see what happens a naught is equal to c 1 into 2 power 0 c 2 into 5 power 0 this is 8 plus 2 into 0 what is a naught here a naught is 1 anything to the power of 0 is 1 this is c 1 this is c 2 and this is 8 therefore we got c 1 plus c 2 is equal to this is 1 minus 8 we got c1 plus c2 value as minus 7 so this is equation number 1 and if we put n is equal to 1 in the same equation here see so a1 value will be c1 into 2 power 1 
plus c2 into 5 power 1. This is 8 plus this is 2 into 1. So a1 value is equal to this is 2c1 plus 5c2. This is 8 plus 2. This value is 10. So as we got a1 value as see here a1 value as 2. So if I substitute that is 2 times of 2c1 plus 5c2 plus 10. So this is 2c1 plus 5c2. 5c2 is equal to this is 2 minus 10 that is 2c1 plus 5c2 is equal to minus 8. Now we have to solve equation 1 and equation 2. c1 plus c2 is equal to minus 7 and here this will be 2c1 plus 5c2 is equal to minus 8. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. If I multiply equation 1 into 2 and subtract from equation 2 then see this is 2c1 plus 2c2 is equal to minus 14. This is 2c1 plus 5c2 is equal to minus 8. So these values will be if I cancel. So this is minus 3c2 and uh, this is going to become minus 6. C2 value is equal to minus 6 by minus 3 and C2 is equal to 2. As we got C2 is equal to 2. So if I substitute in equation 1 C2 plus uh, C1 plus C2 is equal to minus 7. That is C1 plus 2 is equal to minus 7 and C1 value is minus 7 minus 2. C1 value is minus 9. So in our general solution, so if I substitute, so this is our general solution, C1 as minus 9 and C2 as 2. So if I substitute, then the general solution will be, so an, what is our an? The general solution is, this is C1, this is 2 power k plus C2 into 5 power k plus this is 8 plus 2k, 8 plus 2k. If I substitute C1 value as minus 9, so minus 9 into 2 power k plus 2 times of 5 power k plus this value is 8 plus 2k. So this is the general solution for the given non-homogeneous or inhomogeneous solution. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. And this is the video which will be very helpful for your preparation. If you really like, you know, please practice and pass it on to your friends.